Hello, welcome to another one of my videos. Um, today I'm going to talk about the support ending for Windows XP. Um, this uh, the support ends next year on April the 8th, 2014. Um, now you might think, why is this happening? Well, the reason Microsoft is cutting off support for Windows XP is it because it classifies it as an old operating system. It's not modern anymore. It's got it's really out of date and. You kind of write right in a way because you know it's, it was made in 2001, so it is kind of a bit out of date now. Um, saying this is Windows 7 here, and, and you know and that's Windows XP. There's quite a bit of you know, in terms of style and the way it looks, quite a lot of out date. And uh, you know, a lot of you will be thinking, why though? Why do I need to upgrade? Because that's what you're going to need to do when Windows XP support goes. You know, you're thinking, why do I need to upgrade to it? And the system say, why do I need to give it up? Well, it's because if you don't you know, if you keep continuing to use Windows XP on the internet, you risk down. You know, risk having hackers or viruses take control. You know, getting into your computer. You know, and you don't particularly want that. Um, so, the best option is if you want to continue using a Windows XP machine, is to disconnect it from the internet um, altogether. If you want to continue using the Windows XP machine, but if you want to use an internet on the internet, you need to have something like. Vista or above, um, on your on, on your computer. I wouldn't recommend having Vista or seven or seven, you know, seven or eight point one would be the choices I would pick if I had to. Uh, pick seven over eight point one. Anyway, that's a different story. Um, so basically, what will happen? You might think, well, what's going to happen on the April the eighth? Is anything in my computer going to stop working or not? No, your computer will not stop working. Your computer will work as it's fine. It'll boot up as it would, but you're going to not get any support anymore. You will not get any automatic updates. You will not get this, you know, Windows updates thing saying, "All oh, right, I've got updates for it to, you know, I've got updates coming for your computer, you know, you know, please update." It won't come up anymore. So basically, it all stops, and so anti most antiviruses will stop as well. So like McAfee, Norton, and all the rest of them, they'll all stop ending around that date. Not exactly, maybe not on exactly on the eighth, but around that date, will stop ending. It will start to end support. For Windows XP, so that means you're not no longer covered by antiviruses, antivirus software as well. So that's why you're going to risk, you know, use, if you're using an XP on, you know, the internet, you risk, you risk it quite bad. So what you need to do is you need to really take it off the internet if you want to keep using it. Oh, great! So basically, Microsoft is forcing you and businesses, because a lot of people still rely on this, including banks. You know, a lot of businesses still use XP today. You know, and you know, they still at some point soon they're going to have to change it. There's only a few months left because this is 17th of November, so you know they've got some time. They've got a few months left, and then that's it. They're, they're going to have to change because they've got no other option, you know. And I, and I know not all companies like doing that, but what else is there to say? You've got to do it, you know. And it's going to be a, a, a nightmare for good banks to fly that because banks, are, you know, you've got to keep a lot of financial, you know, security and stuff. You've got to make sure, you know, nothing's going to happen. So you've got to be very careful when it comes to banks. Um, so. Yeah, that's not. It's nothing gonna. Nothing's really major is gonna happen on that day. It's just you know, Microsoft will stop supporting you. There'll no updates will be sent out anymore, and that'll be it. It's cut off. Goodbye, XP. I'm throwing you in the bin. Microsoft saying to themselves, no longer a piece of our life anymore. It's as if they've never made it. They'll be you know they'll be getting rid of any remnants of XP anymore. They might still put some downloads from it, but that'll be about it really. There's nothing major. There's no updates or anything like that. So. That's why you've been forced to upgrade to an operating system. Um, so, what do you do now? What do, what's the next thing? What's the next step? Well, upgrading to another operating system or getting a new computer, depending on the age of your computer. So, for example, if you've had your Windows XP machines all the way since 2001, there's no way you're going to be able to run 7. Not really any chance of it being able to run 7, Vista 8 or 8.1. None of them. Sorry, I meant to say Vista 7, but you get the idea. Um, you won't be able to run any of them. You, it's unlikely. Um, very, very slow if you can. I mean, it'd be literally really, really, really slow. You'd put your time to the bin. If you've had it any longer than that. If you've had it um, from about 2008, maybe 2007, you might be alright. Possibly 2006. It depends on the graphics and all the rest of it like that. You may, you may be okay to um, run Windows 7, but it might be a bit slow. But if you had a computer from about 2008, or halfway through 2008 and onwards, you should be fine to be able to run Windows 7 pretty well, or Windows 8. You know, if you bought a computer after 2009, 
with XP that would be really weird. But if you bought a netbook with Windows XP on, you still need to change that. It applies to everything, it applies to tablet PCs. Windows XP embedded, or Windows embedded as they call it, has got support until 2015, so you've already right, you've got another year on them. So if you have a tablet with Windows embedded or Windows XP, you're okay for another year. But if you got it if you got it on if it's Windows XP tablet edition, you need to change it as well. When it gets to this time, so you know it's kind of a a lot of things happen at this day. You, you know, you're gonna have to either get a new computer, or you're gonna have to upgrade to Windows 7, or Windows 8, or Windows 8.1. So, how do you go about getting, uh, you know, another another operating system? You know, how do I go about checking your computer to get make sure it's got the right specifications to run Windows 7? Well, there's this free utility that Windows uh, Microsoft it has released called Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor. There's one for Windows 8 as well. And basically, you need to go onto the internet and you need to type it in into Google, basically like that, Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor. And it's the top link here, download Microsoft Windows. I'll put a link to the description below to this link as well, so you don't have to go trawling through. If it doesn't come up the first time, you can just click this link and it'll go straight to this website. So when this appears, you just need to go to the bottom and click Download Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor. Now, once you download that, you'll install it. It's a very small install. Basically, I've done it before, so I know what happens. Basically, it checks your computer to make sure you can run Windows 7. It checks all the stuff. So it checks, you know, the the, the RAM, the processor, the programs, and some of the drivers and the hardware on your computer, and to see whether it will run Windows 7 okay. And if it can't, it'll come back and tell you can or it can. If you know, depending if, you know, if it can. Um, and that's the best way to check. And if it can. Go ahead, buy a Windows 7 or get a free version as I have you can get here. It's, this is a, a genuine Windows 7 copy, but you're going to have to find a key for it. So you're going to have to download a key or find a key somewhere, how way of getting a Windows 7 key from somewhere. Um, I, I, you know, you can go wherever you want. I'm not, you know, the, uh, you're going to have to have a look on the internet for them. I'm not quite sure we get the keys for Windows 7, but um, I'm sure they'll be somewhere around somewhere. Um, basically, to download the free Windows 7 actual ISO image, you need to go to this website. I've just typed, it, I've just typed into Google Windows 7 Soft 32. Click on the link to it, it'll go to this website here. Once it goes to this website, you need, you need to go to the download button here. Do not click any of these because these are all spam and crap. And click download now. And select the edition you have on, you know, you want for your Windows XP computer. So you can have any of the following editions. It's up to you. Uh, I'd recommend if you have a 64-bit computer. Um, I recommend because obviously this upgrade advisor will tell you whether it's 64-bit, there like that is fine, and 32-bit is okay. Because it'll say if it's if it's not your processor, it's not 64-bit compatible. If it isn't, then you're going to have to get one of these 32-bit ones. If if it's 64 bit compatible, you get one of these. I recommend if it says 64 bit and it's like okay, I get a 64 bit edition of Windows 7. Um, now why not Windows 8 or Windows 8.1? Well, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1 aren't as good as Windows 7 in my opinion. That is in my opinion. So you know, if anybody else wants to have a go at me for that, well, let them do it. But I'm not going to bother replying because you know, at the end of the day, I don't really care because that's my opinion on this operating system. I, I think Windows 7 is better than Windows 8 and 8.1. So that's just my opinion, you know, everybody's got their own opinion, so I think, what, I think what, they like, what they like. So, after you downloaded that, that'll download, that can take up to a couple of hours, depending on the speed of your internet connection. Once you've done that, just burn it to a disk, or if you've got a memory pen, and get one of these utilities. I, I, um, I, I so to USB. Like so, and you can search that into the thing. It's this website here, and basically you just download that from there. I'll put that link to a link into the description as well below, and you can put that if you have a memory stick that is, and then install you know the ISO image onto that memory stick, and then basically you restart your computer and boot it off that, and it'll run the Windows 7 setup. Now you might be thinking, how can I keep my files and stuff once I upgrade to Windows 7? So our answer is. No, unless you put it all onto an external hard drive. To keep your data, you know, so if you have a load of photos and stuff, you're going to have to put that on an external hard drive. You can't keep all your important information on the Windows XP machine and then expect to upgrade to 7 and it'll still be there because it's not compatible. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not like Vista to 7 where it's most likely going to be alright. 
you're gonna have to set it from you're gonna when you when you install Windows 7, you're gonna have to select custom and you're gonna have to wipe the hard drive clean and you're gonna have to put a new um, operating system on. So get everything off you want first, like all the photos, documents you have, onto a, an external hard drive and all the things you want, and then keep that spare. Once you've got Windows 7 on, put that on. Um, you know, once Windows 7 is activated anyway, you find to be able to activate it. Once you've done that, you know, put it all on and you've got a new Windows 7 machine, so then you've upgraded. Um, so that's how you do that. Windows 8 is a similar, similar way, but there isn't software to don't have a Windows 8 edition, so I can't really do that. If you want to find out some more, some more information about Windows 7 XP's part ending, the window Microsoft does one for it as well. There is two links there. Um, this is one of them. Basically, it tells you about what does the part mean. You know, when you end, and you can find out more. And um, they're bothering you about going to 8.1. You know, that's what Microsoft are like. They want you to go straight to the latest one. That's up to you. you don't have to go to 8.1 if you don't want to. It's you know, it's entirely up to you. Um, if you want to go to 7 or 8 or 8.1, you can go up to it. I won't go 8 because it's pointless. 8.1's higher. So basically, you get that. If you got 8 now. Uh, and you're watching this just for the randomness, you know, you can go to 8.1 for free, you don't have to pay for that. Um, if you, so if you've got 8, you can just go to 8.1 for free. Uh, through the Windows Store, so, you know. So basically this is just more information about the support ending, you can click for more and stuff like that. And there's two of them, there's this one as well, about Office 2003, which is also ending as well in the, this is the actual web page. Um, that is quite is around a lot. This is the one probably that I will link you to because I'll put, I'll link you to both because you know, just if you want to see. Them. So you basically it gives you the choice if you want to move to Windows Seven or if you want to move to Windows Eight. It probably I'll probably tell you about more what about. Um, that's quite confusing as you've seen here. That is like really 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 confusing. So if you were presented with that, you would look at that and think probably what the hell am I doing here? Basically, this video here is aiming to help you upgrade to that. Easy lack of shown, um, basically. So it's easy enough to do. Now you might think, well, I'm not going to bother upgrading to Windows XP. Well, not Windows 7, sorry. And that's up, that's up to you, but you risk getting viruses, hackers taking control of your computer more easily because it's antivirus and firewall stop support as well from XP. So basically. My, I can't stress it really is enough. Change to seven or above. That's what my thing is. Get or get a new computer if you're not quite sure about doing that Windows Seven upgrade advisor. Just get a new computer. It's up to you what you do, but I think you should stop using XP after that date because you risk having issues. So, it basically this website will tell you basically why it's ending. What does it mean? And now do I begin to, you know, change to Windows 7 or 8? So, I, you know, I can't stress enough how much you should change to the Windows 7 for after this day. Um, if you want some more help, I can give you some more help about changing it to Windows 7 or Windows 8. Uh, just send me a message through YouTube or my soon to be Facebook page. I don't know when that's going to come around, but some point soon. Um, which you can then just send me message still and basically I'll give you a little bit of a, a help um, how to do it if not you can just look on, it on Google it's up to you um, about upgrading to Windows XP or I mean Windows oh, upgrading sorry to 7 sorry <laughs> um, I don't have any copies so I can't give you any or anything like that you've got to uh, either buy off Amazon because it's easy to find if you just go to Amazon um, next so into Google type in Windows 7 or Windows 8 or whatever, type in Windows 7 and there's one there for 60 quid, 70 quid. You can buy the edition of Windows 7. For Home Premium Service Pack 1 for 70 quid. And that's not bad, that's not bad, you know. So you can buy that off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. And there's Windows 8 there, that one, top one, standard. I'll put that in the link as well, I'll put that in the link as well. And Windows 8.1 is also is available there. So I'll put all these in the link as well so it's not as easy to find which ones you want to buy. Um, remember though, before you do it, remember to get the upgrade advisor for 8 or 7, depending which one you want to go up to. Um, and you can find 8 as well. I'll, find, I'll put a link to 8 in the description as well. Um, 
thank you very much for watching my video. Remember to upgrade to Windows 7 as soon as you can. At least Windows 7 as soon as you can. Um, you've got not much time left, a few a month and a half, you know, you need to do it really. Um so get 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 preparing to do it. Ask if you you know, ask for a new computer for Christmas. You know, get asked for one. You know, you need to you need you need to you need, you need to change before long. So if you if you need if your computer's do an upgrade, ask for one for Christmas if you can. If not, just think about buying a new one or changing to Windows 7 or 8 like I've shown you. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. My video, please like and subscribe, and please share this video. This video needs to go out into the world about how to upgrade your, can, you know, upgrade, up, upgrade your computer to Windows 7 because you know at least Windows 7 because of the spot ending. Anyway, sorry, I'll keep ranting, you know, keep going and going and going. If I'm never gonna, gonna stop, so I'm gonna have to stop at some point. So anyway, thank you for watching my video. Please share, please share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much, and I will see you later.